this is a little sequence I did using all the sounds, not all, but only sounds from the update and the 1.10 update for the Phantom uh, workstation. And these sounds came from the Axial website and um, basically the update gives you, and I'm gonna go into utility right here. Let's log in right here. Expansion info, it gives you 16 uh, slots which six are, as you can see, used in this info screen. And these are the six expansions. World, power drums, session drums, kind of weird. Studio sounds and stage piano one and two. Other than the world instruments, these titles uh, kind of take a departure from the way Roland classified their expansion cards, which were the SRJ V80, and then those kind of turned into uh, the SRX cards, and then, then of course the AXR cards, which I did a video on the other last week. But the so 14 slots, far more generous than any other Roland product that has come out prior. I think the 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 Phantom X Rack gave you six card slots of the SRX, which was pretty big. And of course, the XP58 gave you eight, but then you had to subdivide those by four SRJV and the uh, JV uh, SRX cards. But anyway, more than this. So the the first update gave you the ability to do expansions and, and a few other updates, which I talked on the last video, spoke about. And um, they've got a long ways to go on as far as their functionality uh, and user U UI uh, and their sequence features and so forth. So they got a long ways to go here, but the the software update that they released, as far as the sounds go, uh, I'd, I'd have to say it's kind of like getting that sweater you never wanted at Christmas time from your grandmother. You know, you open it up and you say, ah. And you go and play with all the other shiny, desirable toys and so forth. And that's kind of my take on the sounds. Uh, the sounds are, as a matter of fact, the way they've been, Axial has been putting these sounds together is somewhat of a departure of the way the Integra was, which was real sound for sound uh, replication of the real thing. And, and lately, since after the Integra, what Axial's been doing is kind of cherry picking certain sounds from certain boards and then putting them all together and then giving you what they call an expansion. But it's not truly a replacement of having the actual real expansion if you're looking to get a sound for sound replacement. And so uh, one of the things I did is I actually looked at the, matter of fact, let me go into another studio set here. Oops. And turn the reverb down so the, the the big thing for me since i had two drum cards that they gave you was to kind of look at the drums and very not <laughs> very not what i expected and it's a, i guess it's another way of saying disappointing if you go into the last banks that's where your exps are going to be just like on the fa06 i have behind me and these are some of the sounds. So nothing mind shattering. There's a okay, and then you've got uh, let's see anything over here. You know, turbo kit. Okay, and ironically, you've got these kits here, which are from the SR. Uh, SRX card, studio card. So these these were actually one of the brighter, for me, brighter spots. I actually have these kits on a card that's loaded into one of my Phantoms uh, X's. And they uh, were pretty dynamic. But other than that, there was really nothing special about the drums, especially 
these new ones. And they gave you two full cards full of drums and, and nothing seemed to stand out. Because uh, you're expecting next generation. Uh, and that's what they talked about. Big plans for this, this keyboard. Uh, I don't want to sound too sour about it. Okay, so let's go to the pianos. Uh, okay. So these, Espresso Grand, these aren't from, I don't think these are from any of the cards. Okay. So these, these may be, may be brand new. And then maybe they, maybe, uh, what's odd is they put the RD engine in the little Jupiter synthesizer, which didn't make any sense because that's more for like synth heads. And they put a an actual RD piano engine in that, but they didn't put it in here, the premium product. So I left, left it out. Look at this, pure grand. That's for the Phantom X. I don't know where they got that from as far as they didn't get it for any cards or why they decided to port those in there. It's kind of a just no consistency. The good old electric pianos. Now here's the, uh, so they looked like they gave you a couple, a Mark I and a Mark II electric piano and then the chorus version of it. So here's your, That's interesting. Okay. And then it gave you sort of that Mark I, uh, Mark course sound, kind of like that Sergio Menendez. Okay, that kind of sound. And then look, here, Taxi EP, you know. Actually, that's from the, um, those are the old samples from the studio card. Which is odd because even those actually are better than some of their newer samples, or at least I prefer them over the newer samples. That were in the Zen core, you know, engine or whatever. And then they've got various world sounds. And that's derived from the world card. They actually is derived from the other Axial world card that, the, that you could download for some of the other Roland stuff, which the world card was a combination of the original SRJV world, the Asia, the uh, Latin, and somehow country. I don't know how country classifies as world music but it was in there as a matter of fact they they actually screwed up on this drum possibly they put guitar phrases under drums okay okay but anyway that's under drums so if you're gigging and you happen to go through the menu and you hit that you'd probably be in for a surprise hit that and get a riff so, so basically, that's kind of what they gave you out of the four cards, some kind of combination. Because two of those cards were piano cards, which I kind of told you a little bit about. Two of the cards were drum cards. One was the world card, okay? And so, and the other card was uh, the studio card, sort of that bread and butter card. But I was expecting to get what I was really expecting. And this kind of leads me to this conclusion that, that I was expecting to get the Integra 7 in here. Uh, Integra 7 came out a long time ago and I had one and I sold it. And when this workstation came out, I was kind of excited because I was thinking, you know, they came out with an Integra workstation and it, they kind of did, but not really. And so these software updates, especially when it comes to the Axial part, leads me to believe that you're not going to get the Integra in here. 
this is kind of what you got. Uh, it sounds kind of dark and negative, but, and, and it is, because these sound banks that they've chosen to represent the future, this first update, doesn't indicate anything moving into the future. It actually indicates that that they have uh, didn't want to deliver a next generation workstation and don't have really any plans in doing so based on this update. I was expecting, I would actually rather have no update and then wait till NAM, for example, because they let's say they rush this out and have a really good big update. And instead, you know, I'm feeling kind of salty about it because when I got this, I felt I was on the cusp of returning and I could have, but I felt it was worth the investment in learning the workflow because it takes a while to learn these workstations and kind of get the, 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 the workflow cemented in repetitively uh, and then let the updates roll in. And so this update was, was a disappointing update. Uh, although we can at least say that they updated something. Uh, those of you who know Roland and so forth, they sometimes do and sometimes don't uh, update their products and so forth. So, And I have a lot of Roland stuff I know. I, I've got tons of stuff by Roland. Um, so could be my bad for thinking that they would be any different. But So anyone that's on the cusp of getting these work, one of these workstations, uh, wait at least till after NAM and see where they're going with their updates and see uh, if, if there's any better indication than this update here. Because on the bright side, as much as I bashed <laughs> Roland in this video, they've got a good start hardware-wise. Uh, they got a, It's just like the right amount of physical features on here to give this board a lot of potential. It's just a matter of them following through with it. And so uh, uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, by the way, thanks thank you to all the subscribers and and viewers because I've got a hundred subscribers right now and thousands of views. And so leave any uh, questions or comments in the video of what you want to see uh, next. And until then, we'll we'll catch up later.